One in every two children are affected by violence. Let me say that again, please. One in two children. Here we go. New York. New York City. I am here because I'm going to have a speech at the United Nations General Assembly. Can you believe that? That kid from the street here, I'm going to talk in front of so many leaders to make an impact for ending the violence against children. Kids, you're not alone anymore. I am here for you. I used to sleep at school because my mother couldn't afford the travel each day. It, it has taken me decades to feel free from shame and to be able to talk about it. Now I am 41, I talk about it. To invest more and invest better. Yeah. To I, focus on those children who are furthest behind first. Mm. To invest in our future, right? So yeah. Yeah. To, our future is the thing you were talking about before. You're saying it again yeah. in a different way every time. So the emphasis goes greater. To invest in our future, yeah. right? Um, I ask you today to share that mission. To invest more and invest better to focus on those children who are furthest behind first, to invest in our future. Mama, I made it. Mama, j'ai réussi. But I just, to make sure I don't get too much passionate about it, because sometimes when I get too passionate about it, that's when I will um, maybe speak faster instead of, yeah, you know, you exactly. understand what I mean? The, you should always, I say that to, to Ruby. You can't really go too slow, Pat. No. There's no such thing as too slow, so just go slower. No, people slow. need to be engaged, you like, just, you know, there, there, need to be no there. such thing as, a, if you watch Obama speak, mm. it's like crazy slow and the pauses are so long. Yeah. So you do you, but always go slower. And if you feel yourself getting faster, just slow it right down, yeah. you know? Mama, I made it. Mama, j'ai réussi. I love this. <laughs> Look at that first. What he's gonna say? I love this guy. It's gonna happen now. <laughs> also, Pat, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna update your draft now. Instead of WHO, we're gonna say World Health Organization. Yeah. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a new copy now. Yeah, World Health Organization. Billion children. Billion children. Start. Billion children. Feeling grateful. Bless. You can go this way. Or whatever you know. Oh, perfect. So I'll bring my stuff here. Yeah. See, straight away, that's the first thing I see in my room. It reminds me of Napa when he was 15 years old. Oh. Is this Gen V? No. No way, machine. I'm not. I'm not looking at anything. <laughs> Let's be productive because time will fly. Today I won't wear the blue one because I've been seen too much with the blue one up. Huh? I say I've I've been seen too much with the blue one. It's an important cause, but you need to sometimes be different. Why you need to be like a like everyone, you know? Can it be more than an hour? No, can you do it in half, less than half an hour? Guys, don't yeah, take any hour? risk. Yeah, That's why I don't give it to we me. Need to leave, we need to leave. We need to leave here at 3.30, so we need it back before 3. I don't give my stuff. Okay, I try. This is no Thank chance. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I believe in you. No chance. I told you you make a big mistake. Thank you. Trust me. Keep saying thank you. I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling... Grateful, it's just amazing, you know, sometimes you do things in life and people say like, oh, you've done so many things, but that's the, the kind of things where I feel really, you know, I feel the purpose, I feel like why I'm here on earth, that's where like, I get even overwhelmed because the location is, is so big and some people, they won't understand. They were like, but this guy, you know, is playing in front of 80,000 people, whatever. Why is like so excited? Because I'm talking for billion of children. I'm talking about billion of children. So to have that responsibility, you know, a lot of people will say like, you know, you can be stressed or no, I'm not. Because you speak with your heart and everything's gonna go amazing. 
I've been working with my team on my speech. You know, that's why I was practicing in the car. I've got it. I'm going to have a nice shower, looking sharp, and be ready to talk in front of all those leaders to make an impact and to end the violence against children. We, we, we. I grew up in Paris as one of 25 sleeping, and my poverty made me more vulnerable. I used to sleep at the school because my mother couldn't afford to travel each day. Mama, I made it. Mama, here you see. And I love this game. <laughs> and then Napa and Ruby. Let's go again, Pat. Some of your pauses between the paragraphs are not like me longer. So when you finish a paragraph, look up around the room. Don't just look up. Hey, look at everyone in the room. Yeah, between the paragraphs, and then you can focus idea. a bit. When you're in the middle of the paragraph, you can yeah. focus more on reading. And you can use those natural pauses to look around and then return to the text. Okay, now I will do it if I look around. 13 years old Patrice could only have dreamed of this. Speaking to you as a champion of children, as a champion of education, something that was taken. You see, because Is I wanted, I want to say away. Yeah. But that's when I'm not ready. Something that was taken from me. I don't have to say away. Huh? No. Something that was taken from me. I always say that no child, no child is born a racist. No child is born a criminal, a thief, an abuser. Is the environment and miseducation that create bigotry and hatred? Every child on this earth deserves the chance to live and learn and thrive in a safe space. I survived. I succeeded. I am not a statistic. I have built a life that I love. But I know I am an exception. Now my focus is on ending the violence against children, fighting for the opportunity of a billion children. What could be a greater priority? So Manchester United glasses cleaner. Do it. Forever red. Yes. And Cartier cufflinks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I love this game, sunglasses. Like in all this classroom, there's only like 10 kids they're able to, to read. That's why you see the, the backpack. Yeah. And all the empty, empty seat without backpack is those other children, they simply can't read. We can't read a simple story. So that's why we need to invest in education. In education. <laughs> exactly, it's really important. Yeah, that's what I was telling him. It's really important. It's not just about kicking the ball around. Now yes. it's to give, yes. you know, to to all the kids. And for me, education is you know, it's really important. It's a great pleasure to give the floor not just to a great uh, football legend, but also an activist for you, right? And thank you. I, will, I will stand up. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Patrice Evra, uh, former captain of Manchester United and the French national team. <laughs> I won many trophies, but to be here today in front of you is worth more than any trophy I won in my entire career. <laughs> the 13 years old Patrice could only have dreamed of this, speaking to you as a champion for children as a champion for education, something that was taken from me. When I was 13 years old, I was sexually abused by my head teacher, by the person that should have protected me, in the place where I should have been safe. 
I grew up in Paris as one of 25 siblings, and my poverty made me more vulnerable. I used to sleep at the school because my mother couldn't afford the travel each day. It has taken me decades to feel free from shame to be able to talk about it. Now I am 41 and I talk about it. I've talked to football fans in Manchester, on primetime television in Paris, in front of a live audience in Lagos, and now I am here in New York City on the most famous podium in the world, talking to the most powerful people there. are. But with respect, I don't want talk. I want action. My mother was determined to get us a good education, a single parent working many jobs to give us the best start in life she could. But the system failed me. And I know I am not alone. Right now, there are a billion children affected by violence. A billion children who cannot realize the transformative power of education. We can and we must change that. Look around this conference hall. There are hundreds of people here. But what you won't see is that the person sitting next to you or right in front of you may have experienced violence in their childhood. One in every two children are affected by violence. Let me say that again, please. One in two children. That's half of every classroom. That's half of every football team. Half of every school bus. Of course, this undermines their capacity to learn today and their ability to live happy, productive life in the future. If we don't address violence, we undermine all the investment made in education. But here is the good news. Violence against children is preventable. We need to invest in the education solution that makes the most difference to the children that need them the most. I am in a learning process. And thanks to Wolf Health Organization, I have seen some of this life-changing program in action. Education can change the trajectory of a life, of a family, of a generation. I may have been denied that opportunity through school, but I am a champion for lifelong learning. We must invest in this too. We need to define education not only by what is on the curriculum, but by the value it can teach. What it means to be a good person. I always say that no child is born a racist. No child is born a criminal, a thief, an abuser. It's the environment and miseducation that create bigotry and hatred. Every child on this earth deserves the chance to live and learn and thrive in a safe space. I survived, I succeeded, but I am not a statistic. I have built a life that I love, but I know I am an exception. Now my focus is on ending the violence against children, fighting for the opportunity of a billion of children. What could be a greater opportunity? What could be a greater privilege? I ask you today to share that mission to invest more and invest better, to focus on those children who are furthest behind first, to invest in our future. Mama, I made it. Mama, j'ai réussi. Merci. I think you made us all not just think about education, but feel about education and the importance of financing education of every child on this planet. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. <laughs>
Okay. Oh, good to see you. Yeah, so it's nice. Are you retired now? Yeah, yeah, retired. I'm I still doing all my catch license, but oh. now I want to invest more mm. on children and other things in life. Then I wanted to create this man Sorry. because I think that's not the best. Best no, speech no, today. No, no, no. You should be a politician, no, really. No, I never. encourage you. <laughs> no, I'm an EU commissioner. Very nice, nice to, to meet you. you. I'm used to. Thank you very much. For I'm a champion you. for education. I can see that. I can see that. I, 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 I have decided to increase our financing to 6 billion euros from the wow. EU budget. Oh, that's great. Wow. So that oh, was my you. decision. Wow. I love that. <laughs> Shall we take a picture? Yes, yes, yeah. of course, of course. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Merci. No, yeah. yeah, but it no, was really good. I uh, always yeah. speak with my heart. Let's do things. something together. We will, 100%. Yeah. 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 Let's get a little picture yeah. with you. I'm yeah. so proud of what you've done. Merci. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How do we get in touch with you? She already like do a contact and uh, I am here to... Mm. Whatever you need. Yeah, well, yeah how, how, so. how long are you staying? No, I'm leaving. I'm staying a week. I've got like few events to, to attempt. I was in Ghana. I was the, with the president of Ghana two yes. days ago. Yes, yes. I was in Vietnam. I'm traveling like crazy, so I don't have time for myself. But mm. that's why for me it was really important to come today and to mm. speak because I, I live my life. I enjoy my life. Okay. But it's more like for other children. So that's why you can count on me no matter you need yes, we you. got the contact and uh, i want to yeah I because we, 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 we you know you, you you are so dear to, to, to the youth the young people yeah. so we we really sit down and discuss with the gpe on how we can work together yeah use your talent use your definitely your, your celebrity status but, but that's why i do i use all my celebrity or whatever i use my platform or whatever to change and that's the problem the next gen the new generation they listen to people where they can feel related yes. especially when you're a champion you know and i'll be honest even if i do the wrong things they will listen yeah. because they are fun but that's why it's important when you have this platform and those level of statue you have to make sure you make a difference and that's my goal that's my goal it's not to play football anymore yeah. <laughs> see you guys thank you so how are you yeah. Yeah. Oh, everybody's fine. Uh, now they love me. Even them, they love me. They used to hate me. Now they love me. <laughs> it was really amazing. You said it a hundred times, and it was the best one, but it was really fucking amazing. Yeah. Well done.